So, at oh yeah, <laughs> we're actually going to have a look at the family room at Family Health University College. You saw that in the. We're not actually doing bad. <laughs> we're actually not doing bad. We're actually not doing bad. Oh, that was weak. That was weak. Sorry. Let's do this. And I bring the banners. <laughs> again so we're here at family health and we're going to do a tour of the browns and i'm actually at the classroom area and um let's go and see what it looks like because myself i'm really interested to see what it looks like because it looks like they've got state of the art I maybe mean, see the grounds oh my god so let's go let's go into the classroom come oh wow so we're in an empty class and as you can tell it's really nice like really really nice i say really really nice because these chairs are good. I have them for study at home, so they are really good. They've got projector, they've got air conditioning in the class. They've got options for fan as well. And they're spacious. It's a really spacious class. And that kind of fits into what they told us about the students to teacher ratio. The class is not so huge that you can't have easy access to see the board or like properly like have a feel with the lecturer. The class is actually very decent sized. Like, you don't feel like you're just thrown into a big lecture hall. The lecturer can actually look you straight in there and go, are you listening? Which is really good because, you know, we tend to drift off in medical school. So, yeah, if you ask me, I say I'm loving this. Let's see another class where a class is in session. Let's see how it looks. All right. Hi guys, so now we are at the demonstration room, the skills lab, and we are want to have a look at what's going on there. Actually, the students in here and um, we see what they're doing. Let me see if I remember one, one or two things about pelvic examination. Let's go. Actually, today we are actually teaching um, episiotomies and um, I may just put my hand to the needle to show you a little bit, a little something, something, you know. But yeah, this is a level 500 students. Actually, it's a portion of them. Some are doing their pediatrics rotation. Others are somewhere or doing something else. So right here, we're learning how to um, um, repair perineal tears. So I appreciate them. Let's have a closer look and see, and see second degree tears and repair. Come in, let's go. Look at what you're doing, if you don't mind. All right. Are you left-handed? Okay. Do you want to try putting your index finger on this place? So if you're gonna hold it, you hold it, you hold it like this. Right? This. And then the movement is from here. 
Okay. So yeah, so you swipe like this. Okay. You don't go from the elbow, you go like this. Okay. That's how we suture, right? Yes. All right, so Thank like you. this and like this. That's right. No, okay. yeah. Thank yes, you. yes. Okay. Then you push from here. The, the movement is from the wrist. Okay. Yeah, the movement is from the wrist. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's a pleasure. All right. Oh, it's easier. It's easier. I told you. you. Yeah. It's easier than you. You do know. Yes. Another thing is, if you're pulling it out, if you keep using this, you may blunt the edge of the needle. So it's perfect. And then you, and then if you're holding from here, you hold like this. You hold like you're holding a pen. So you, you, you're pulling it out like this, right? So you swipe, pick it up, and yeah, you're holding like this. Not like you understand it. Like you're holding a pen. Yeah, like you're holding a pen. Pincer grip, remember yeah. development. Pincer yeah. grip, yes. You're welcome. When you want to tie the surgeon's knot, if you go from here, then the next place will come from here, right? No, not the same direction. So if this side is this that's here, next time you bring it here to make it very fine. Is that okay? So if I was to do this, and I've, I've, I've um, I'm gonna do this and let pick this up. Right? Right. Because we've all been in the same direction, everything is coming out. Yes. Then you do this like this again. We understand. So the first one was here, second one was here, right? That's how we keep doing it to make it a very secure one. You're welcome. As we discussed earlier on, here we have a gynae patient. Okay. On inspection, the patient is lying. So you start with your. Okay, hi. So now we're in front of the library and uh, we'll be going in. Because it's the library, we will not talk too much. Just whisper. Everybody, I'm so sorry. I'm going to talk some more. Thank you. All right, so we're in the library right here at um, Family Health. We're going to have a look at, uh, actually, they have e-library um, e where you can just subscribe. 
and then um let's look at the physical library first they have an array of books on this side the chairs are real comfy and then i think this is the e session where you can access journals and um all this stuff online also you know mention was of mention was made of the affiliation with the university of michigan which makes material accessible and available as well so i'm guessing um i'm, I'm actually not guessing i'm actually very sure that once you're here you have a seat you have a lot of access to pubmed and all of that good stuff because quite frankly getting access to journals can be big annoying if you're not subscribed and the school has done a good job of subscribing for them. We have students who are actually studying in the library and um, will do well to get out of their hair real soon but we're going to have the chat with the librarian who will talk us through a little bit of how the library runs, the facilities and all that good stuff. So come, let's go. So, uh... So here with me is the librarian. Madam, please can you introduce yourself? Thank you very much. My name is Regita Fedo, the librarian of Family Health University College. As the name applies, we are family. And we train doctors, nurses, and midwives as well. In fact, we are into the health sector. We realize that in our nation, we have limited doctors. Therefore, Professor Kwakume took the initiative to train more doctors in order to produce more in order to take care of our patients in the country. I have the privilege to be the librarian and the pioneer librarian of the University College. As you can see, in this era, we don't deal with a lot of physical resources. Due to the COVID and due to technological changes, we are into e-resources. Therefore, Family Health University College have taken the advantages to subscribe to a lot of e-resources whereby students can be at the library of campus, wherever they are, they can access our information. In fact, due to the medicine aspect of the training we give to the students in the institution, we decided to go in for a lot of current materials. And these materials really help the students to know current issues in the medical field. This has really helped us to bring out a lot of quality doctors in the country. I can mention some of them who are products of the institution. In fact, Family Health University College Library also have a lot of journals as well as the hard copy because some people prefer to use the hard copy. As we can see, these are some of the books which is classified according to the various fields of discipline. Here we are with dining. Here we are with our first aid and etc choose family health university college and you get access to a lot of free resources without even paying a dime yeah and right now actually um i think the level 100 students they are in the laboratory so we're going to have a look at what they've done so let's go mm -hmm. hi guys so we are actually at the lab at um, family health university college you can tell, I think they have, this is the 200, I think it's level 100, level 100 having their basic science of experiment. Um, my God, this gives me so much nostalgia. So busy at it. Um, I feel the urge to ask somebody what experiment is going on, but I do not want to distract them. So let's have a look at the book. I think it says, um, what practical is this? What practical? What, on that, what topic? Sorry? You know, then, titration. Okay, so it's titration and chemistry. Oh my god, I'm so nostalgic. How many years ago was that now? Four or five years? But yeah, you can tell the students are really busy at work. And you have this man doing the thing like he's mixing drinks. Wow, that's cool. So, okay, actually right now we are at the um, hostels. Remember well, when we did the interview with Dr. Labram, if you followed the previous video, he mentioned um, the school having a residence for the students on on site actually so we are going to have a look at the rooms which means which means that residents um having a place to stay if you're from here or you're from kumasi or you're from tamale or you're from nigeria or even cameroon you don't have to worry about where to rent where to stay actually they have like 
um, a residence for the students. So we're going to actually come with me. As you can see, I'm standing in front of the Porter's Lodge. And then you come with me, we'll have a look at the different options. I already have been briefed, but I haven't seen. So you'll be seen for the first time with me. So come and let's be wild together. Oh, it's okay. Hi guys, so we're actually in the hostel now and with me is the hostel manager and Madam Emilia. Emilia is right here with me and she'll be giving us a tour of the hostel. Tell us the little itty bit details I know you'd want to know about. Celine, yeah. all right, family health, medical hostel. Mm -hmm. Tell me more yeah. about it, how many rooms, what's it like, okay. being a manager and all that. We have 101 rooms. Uh -huh. And uh, we have double, single, three in one. And uh, with the double, we have the ones that comes with balcony, okay. some without balcony. All right. Yes. And uh, with a single, it's still same. We have balcony and then without balcony. Price. Yes, it comes with different prices. Oh, okay. Different prices. Yeah. And then with a three in one, two, we have balcony without balcony. Mm. Yes. So we would look at one of the single rooms without balcony and then we'll look at the ones with back balcony too we have kitchenettes reading rooms and then they have a common area a family room where they sit to relax watch their football matches there's a dstv there's a wi-fi 24 hour wi-fi yes. so wherever you find yourself at the hostel you'll still be access to, access to internet. internet. Yes, please. I think this applies to the library as well. Yes, yeah, yes, exactly. yes. And the classrooms too. Yes. Exactly. yes. The library and the whole, actually, the whole campus is fitted with 24 hour Wi-Fi, so that's a plus for you guys. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, knock, knock. Back it up. So we're going into one of the two rooms, so let's go in. After you. Knock, knock. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. Hi. Yes, that's the. <laughs> Alrighty. This is one of the single rooms, rooms without yes. a view. Yes, yes, yes without, without, without balcony. Without the balcony. Yes, yes. And yes. suite as well. Yes. It yes. has the, um, the bathroom and the toilet inside. inside. It ends suite and then um, this is the room. The wardrobe comes with you, right? The wardrobe comes with you. The furnitures are here. This one's here. The furnitures come with the with their school. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So, but this is home for, for the students. This is for the students. Yes. Okay, the, student the bed and the, the wardrobe. wardrobe. Yeah. Reading desk. A bookshelf. bookshelf. Yes. So basically, he personalized and made it very homely. Mm -hmm. Even there's a violin. I think there's a violin. <laughs> so my sister came to school and came back with one of his friends. Okay. I know. <laughs> a girl. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to leave him to do his studying. And uh, thank you for letting us know. Yeah. Oh. All right. Bye. bye. Okay, thank you. So actually, we're currently at the reading room, one of the reading rooms, actually. I think each floor has a reading room, right? Yeah, so we're actually at one of the reading rooms, and you can please come in with me and have a look. Actually, we have a very learned student playing with her phone, <laughs> and we also have a student as well on his laptop and iPad. Interesting. The learning must be going, really going. Anyways, yeah, so we're not going to disturb him. I mean, God knows if he has an iPad. And Oh, one. we're right in front of one of the kitchenettes. I think every floor has one. one. Yes, so she's going to just, you know, show us how the things are done here. The last floor kitchenette. So we provide a microwave, a burner, and then a washing area for them. They bring their own utensils to do the cooking and everything, and then they leave it. All right. And then the cleaner takes the Takes. Off. Yes. And then so right. every floor has the same set of set up. All right. family room. So, at oh, yeah, <laughs> we're actually going to have a look at the family room at Family Health University College. You saw that in the area of you already. So, let us go inside and have a look. Ooh, it's cozy, cozy, cozy. I love the bamboo, the bamboo. A what's the theme? The theme. 
and then the um, African print. That's the one thing I like about Ghana. It's African print all the way. It's real nice. There's a TV here and this TV, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yes. So you can have movie night or games night or yeah, that's really chilled. You need this to yeah birthday parties. My birthday is past, but it's I hosted mine. Mm. So yeah, this is one of the places. So let's go to the other family room that has the what's it called the indoor games and then have a look at it. Let's go. <laughs> Lighting. Okay, yeah. So now we are here, and it's ping pong table here, and I can tell you that I'm absolutely shit at this. So don't expect any fantabulous performance. How do you hold it? I hear you hold it like oh, yeah, like I'm a pen. Ah, so you two don't know how to play. Ah, all the best. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am so scared. I, I think I'm winning. The way everything is falling on your side. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I actually believe I suck at this game. One one, eh? I believe it's three one, but okay. Okay, sure. Wow, that was good. How? Because, why do you know the name, the rules of the game? Why? Why do you know the rules of the game? We're not actually doing bad. <laughs> We're actually not doing bad. We're actually not doing bad. Oh, that, that was weak. That was weak. Sorry. Let's do this. And I bring the banners. <laughs> so the next part of the tour is we're going to look at the anatomy lab. I think it's a dry lab, the anatomy. So they're going to um, have give have us have a look. And interestingly, they also do like proper dissection on bodies. So we won't scare you with the bodies, but we'll allow you to have a look at what the dissection room looks like. But first off, we're going to go to the anatomy, to the anatomy dry lab and do the anatomy and have a look at the anatomy. So let's go. Let me start again. We are in here and we're going to walk through the dry lab, the anatomy. The engineer is going to be walking us through it. Fun fact is, she actually taught me med school. She taught me anatomy dissection and all. So, I'm really excited about that. So you are going to talk to my teacher. So let's go. This is the anatomy. This is uh, anatomy table seven. Okay. Um, it's basically a giant computer with um, scanned images. Um, we have the gross bits. Um, and we have about four different scanned images. We have for Caucasians, two Asians, and then some other CT scans. Not um, high resolution anatomy for the various structures okay so if you wanted to focus on something this is where you'd come to um we can come to also we have some histology slides as well so that's that's this is actually my specialty i prefer this to the boss so then um we can do a lot of histology also here for those who know what histology is all about, the study of tissues, we use a lot of microscopes, but this time around, we brought the microscope onto the table, so it's yeah, pretty, the, pretty cool. Yeah, and the, the, the sections are nicely stained. Yes, yes, You're yes. They're well, well preserved. You remember? Yes, we I used do. to struggle with those <laughs> things, but yeah, you have a lot of um, different things. H and E is the popular one, and then yeah. you have some of the trichrome and then the toledium blues also here, so it's cool. Um, Actually, real people that were scanned. So it's just like how you go to the same body donation program, donated their body, and all that. So this is actually beautiful. Um, so, um, so now that we've had a look at the um, anatomy, we're going to go into the cadaver room. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you dead bodies. I know it's sensitive for the internet. So, um, but me, I don't mind saying. But yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. Uh, right now we are actually entering into the cold room cadaver place oh, okay. and then um, you know what you come and see for yourself the fridge and everything Regina is going to walk us through what, well, and, how, oops, what and how it's done well so um, this is our cold room we have four cadavers in there but we are not going to show you don't worry this is supposed to be a new um, cold or 
right? Freeze out or something like yeah. that's yet to be installed. But for now, this is what we do. Okay. Um, it's supposed to be at a certain temperature the whole time so that the body stay fresh and cold because we don't need it and growing fungus nuts. So, yes, this is essentially the preparation area. And where is the guy? It's not long. We prepare the bodies, we take them out early so that they fall before the students come in to um, use it during the section period. So, it's, the sections go on in the other room where we were in the specific space. So, uh, but for a class of say, we just use this in the class, so we just prepare the body here and then. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. So we just rounded up shooting at Family Health and you can tell behind me is the, um, the Tim, Tim Johnson library and on top of there was where we had the dry and wet um, dissecting room, the dry and wet lab for the dissection. But I want to show you something that's actually very interesting to me. There's actually some repairs going on in the background so you may not really hear what I'm saying. But right here is, but right here they actually have a water treatment plant on site. And I'm walking towards it so that means they will really not run out of water really because they treat their water they get their water they have boreholes around the campus they treat the water and have it sent around the campus which is really cool they even have a water tanker mm, very business savvy I like so we're done on what's it called shooting and it's been amazing I'm not even going to lie I have the best best crew ouch my mic is falling off I don't know if you fix it this is why I mean when I say I have the best crew Alright. Thank you. And I just met the president and he's been amazing, very receptive, and the dean as well. But more it's importantly, I'm going to what is actually doing my head in. Oh my god, but my skin is skinning. Anyways, we're going to the beach. The school actually has a beach, guys. This is this is this is a selling point for me. My other crew member. Hey, you need to take off your mask. Uh, no, okay, sure. But Annabelle doesn't want to be on video, so. So, I actually have a basketball court there, which we're going to look at as well. We're going to, we're going to check there. No. Now, let's go to the beach. Okay. Ooh, the view is amazing. Oh my God, it's the grounds are so well kept, like bam, so amazing, 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 amazing. Like even summer hot. I know. We have the summer hot, and oh my God, this is amazing. So, no, you can't tell me anything else. This is amazing. What? You can't have burnout in this place. Whoa, and the water is clean. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's amazing. Oh, this is therapeutic. I already feel like, you know, all over again. Hi. Oh my God, it's amazing actually. So I'm going to proceed into the summer hut. I'm just taking some cool breeze. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. The water is real clean. This is beautiful. Anyone who knows me knows that. My favorite place in the world to be, aside the church, to be at the beach. Yes, I really love the beach. I don't feel like I'm the air is clean, the water is cold. Look at the way my bronzer is bronzing. My bronzer is bronzing. I put too much.
so a complete aerial view of family health university college so over there is the hospital the school of nursing and midwifery our house of anatomy that houses the library and the cadaver lodge That's the House of Anatomy, then the Tim Johnson Library. Yes. Then this beautiful panoramic view, so serene, is the basketball, the basketball court, I should say. Yes, the basketball court. the football pitch over there. It's not your regular football field, but the students manage to distress on that field over there. So amazing how they do need it. The chalet spread over the place. That is the summer hut over there. Also for the relaxation of the students, for group discussions, anything to distress cause of the sea breeze. Then we have a family room. Yes, that's the family room. Yes, that is the family room. Accurately zoomed in. In there is a tennis table, tennis uh, table. The students also have their small get togethers, their birthday parties. The life of a medical student, they do need all these to be stressed. So they have it for their relaxation. Now, the beach. now, now, one of our prides overlooking. So, if you hear us saying overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, here you have it. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean is the beautiful Family Health University College, which has the Family Health Medical School and the Family Health School of Nursing and Midwifery and the Family Health Hospital. 